crazy stupid love crazy stupid love oh my fucking god now netflix came out with this original series called love basically it's about two characters two main characters well we start off with two main characters called gus and mickey now gus and mickey have both been in bad fucking relationships and spoiler extra hard spoiler dangerous spoiler stop and watch the fucking uh series because it's only like 10 episodes and you should watch that easily if you binge watch breaking bad like i have which is amazing house of cards season four is on there too check that out and i'm gonna finish season three so we start off with gus and mickey gus and mickey both have good jobs they both work in los angeles and they're both economically stable and except for they have bad relationships gus jumped into a hardcore relationship with a girl he had and moved in with her that was horrible mickey has an ex a boyfriend that's a super hard coke drug addict but also lives with his mom and these characters end up being the not so realist characters to to watch mickey's a fucking a, a lying crazy bitch and gus is a is just a fucking asshole but the one thing about gus is he can't tell the truth he can't be honest and mickey's brutally honest but she's so dark and gory that you want to hate these fucking characters in reality as you move forward in life the story driven in this show is love and the dumb shit in life because you have a lot of people out there searching for love and the meaning and realizing, oh, it's just nothing but fairy tales and blah, blah, blah. Why do we get caught up in all that shit? But in reality, these two characters personifies you as a human uncomfortably growing up and being insecure and awkward and dealing with the real world problems and then being Mickey, a badass that understands that, well, fuck a life. We could just do anything and have fun and sex and drugs and shit. But then when it comes down to being a grown-up, you know that it takes a left turn and it hooks you right in the neck and you fall down feeling like it's a waste of your life. We fall in love because society has built pyramids, people believe. But stories and novels and books and movies and television, cartoons have built up that if you see someone, you love them. But no, it's just difficult because Gus is just weird and awkward and Mickey's just weird and socially don't care you know but these characters come together in the show and they're they're the same person they're just friends and they're hanging but then something starts to grow there that's unnaturally cool but yet awesome and no offense gus got this one black dude that is his face should be right here this one black guy that's funny and that gives him this type of wisdom and advice and then sooner in the episode you see that everybody goes to this guy for some type of advice or wisdom but he just lays out the food and shout out to that actor and hope he gets more roles hopefully this show gets a season two which people would say why the fuck should i have a season two it's, it was only 10 episodes yeah 10 episodes of fucking goodness netflix is just driving themselves into the best deals of their lives knowing the fact that a contract and money makes everything a big decision everything moves everything fights everything breathes and that's just like love the one thing about this story is the fact that dealing with mickey and gus you couldn't really depend on each character to make the right decision at all gus is weak and spineless and mickey's too fucking um stubborn and strong to just chill the fuck out and have fun you know she can have fun and chill and be laid back but she can't loosen the grip on that she can't step into reality and they both can't you know they both believe when their friends and family get married they're just going to be locked in those relationships the rest of their lives um but there's one there's two themes that happen over the show a rug which you might know that when you watch the show. But this show, Netflix, this show has given me a second idea to life. That love comes and goes. And struggle and hardship is a part of life. But this show gave me inspiration. You know what that inspiration was? <laughs> I fucking have no clue. <laughs> Just watch the show. Tell me what you think. I'm Fat Man DD1. Subscribe. Uh, comment. Peace.